Hey guys, today I want to show you how to pick up objects by the with the first person controller, like this lovely cube right here, as seen in Portal. So I want to pick it up and it should like hover in front of me and I can carry it around over here and drop it again. Okay, right now I can't do anything because uh, we haven't really done anything yet. Um, we have that cube in our scene, it's got a texture on it and a rigid body so it can fall down if we drop it. And we got a blank first person controller. Okay, first I want to add a basically empty script pick up bubble to that cube so we can like only pick up the cube and not for example our test level. So to every object that we want to um, be pick upable, we add that script and later we're just gonna check if that script exists on a certain object that we are trying to pick up. And if it does, we can actually carry it around. Okay. Here I want to add a script to the first person controller called like something like pick up object. And let's open that up for editing. Okay, uh, what we want to do is um, we want to ray cross from the middle of our screen. You see I have that little crosshair, very simple, um, made with a GUI text. It's just an, an O, I guess, but it works fine for me. Uh, so we have that middle of the screen. If I press E on the crew guard here, I want to pick it up. So what we will do, uh, we will ray cast from the middle of the screen and see what we hit. If the object that we hit has got the pick up of the script, we want to pick it up. Okay, so where do we start? Oh, uh, we obviously need a reference to our main camera. So we can determine the middle of the screen and then uh, shoot array from there. Okay, uh, main camera equals game object dot find with tag main camera. Again, this works because our main camera has got the main camera tag, and with uh, game object dot find with tag, we can look for that object in our scene. Okay. Uh, next, we want to establish a bool, boolean uh, variable to determine whether we're actually currently carrying an object. That will be false by default. And in our update function, we want to um, check whether we're carrying an object. If we're carrying it, we want to carry the uh, carried object. And otherwise, we want to be able to maybe pick up some object. Okay, so we will need the carried object. Yes, we will save that as well, so we all know about it. And we need functions carry and pick up. All right, let me just type these. Carry, obviously, with um, a parameter. Game object, just call it O, whatever, and pick up um, to be able to pick up uh, objects. We will do that one first. Uh, before I said I want to pick up objects when pressing E, so I will get my input, get key down from my key code E. And so basically, if I press my E key, um, I want to shoot the raycast, so to do that I need to determine the middle of my screen first. So I go int x screen dot um, width divided by two and I go int y equals screen dot height divided by two. And now we want to shoot our ray. So we create the ray and um, we want to shoot that from the main camera uh, camera component. So we need screen to uh, screen point to ray actually, and we will do a vector three and pass on our x and y. Again, we can omit z, z because um, uh, we just need the two D screen coordinates. Okay, so we have the ray, and we need to uh, remember the ray cast hit. So I'll just establish a variable for that. And then we basically shoot array with pivx.raycast and 
we will pass it our array and we will tell it to remember the hit object in our hit variable. Okay. Um, so we will now check um, if that object has got pickup a little script. So we will call that p and go hit collider dot get component pickupable. And now we we'll check if that's null or not. So if it's not null, we know it exists and we're allowed to pick up the object. Okay, so now we can say we're carrying the object. So we'll set that to true. And we will set the carried object to um, to the uh, to, to the uh, to the object, so to the pickup rule. Okay, that's basically the pickup function. So, if uh, we, we shoot the ray from the middle of our screen, and if we hit something that's got the pickup rule script on it, we pick it up. Okay, so let's talk about the carry function. Um, that cube that we want to pick up has got a rigid body and so the gravity and stuff uh, doesn't fight against us we want to um, set it to set a rigid body is kinematic to true so um, we can like uh, move it around ourselves and it's not affected by gravity and whatnot okay um, and I said we want to make the object hover in front of us, so uh, I will adjust the position of the object. And we need something like uh, the position of our main camera, so I'll get that, uh, plus main camera forward uh, multiplied by some, some distance that we don't know yet. So. Uh, let me just create that float for the distance, and we we can set that. I made the uh, distance variable public, so right here it should be able. Well, where is it? Um, oh, I didn't make it public actually. Okay, I I uh, meant to make that public, so we can set the value here. And I don't know, that's like the distance the object should have to us, and three might be quite a good idea. Okay, so right now I think we can kind of test that out. Let's let's try it. Uh, I look up here, I press E, and I have the object hover in front of me. It's already quite good, but as you can see, it's kind of glitchy, it kind of jumps around and also up and down. It's not, not really smooth because it's very exact and very immediate. And also I can't drop my cube, but that's another issue. Uh, but what should we do about that um, cube being very exact and very quickly so, and therefore glitchy? Well, we can kind of interpolate the position. So what we will do is a vector3.lerp, as you might know from the official tutorial series from Unity. Uh, we will use that um, to to uh, like smoothen out that movement of the cube. Okay, so uh, the lerp function has got three parameters. The first one is the from, the second one is the to, and the third one is the smooth parameter. So um, we always the the from position is always our current position. The to position is the position we like calculated before. So the position of our camera plus a bit. Uh, in front of the camera, and you always use time dot delta time to make it uh, uh, frame independent times some smooth that I will also make a public float for. All right, let's go back to our script, and I've tried that out actually before, so I kind of know uh, something between four and five was quite good. All right. Um, so now it should be smoother. Let's check that out, what it looks like. Uh, I go up here, I work to my cube, I press E, and now we kind of have it smoothly following. If I'm really quick, it follows me slowly, but I think that's just fine. And yeah, also my rigid body is kinematic, so it's not really turning. And I can carry it around, it looks 
Okay, looks good. But I cannot yet drop it. I'd like to uh, press E again, and if I'm carrying the object, I want to drop it. So, uh, if I'm carrying it, um, where should we determine that? Um, yeah, if I'm carrying it, I can like check for the drop, check drop. Let's do function called check drop. Uh, void check drop. And basically, I want to uh, look for input e again, so I can copy that line over there. And if we like hit e again, we can drop the object. And we make another function for that, so we have it nice and distributed. Um, drop object. Okay, what do we need to do if we want to drop the object? Uh, basically, we need to inverse everything we've done to pick it up. So let's have a look at what we have done to pick it up. We set carrying to true, and we set the carried game object, and also um, I think we set its rigid body to kinematic. Actually, we could do that down here. That's a better place. Oops. Uh, I'm just cutting that out and pasting it here. It, it's uh, sufficient if we do it once. And here we don't have it. Oh, but it was p dot game object, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, everything we've done to pick it up, we need to inverse it. So I'm just copying all that and inverse it. Uh, so that should be false. We're not carrying it anymore. Our carried object is nothing, so we can just simply set that to null. And um, we save carried object, so uh, I can use that here. Drop object, and actually it shouldn't be kinematic anymore. So now if we press E again, we should drop it. Okay, back up here. I pick up from cube. I carry it over here. And I try to drop it, and it says null reference exception object reference is not set to an instance of an object. Okay, I believe that, and that's actually because we. Mm -hmm. I thought we set it here. So um, ah, of course. Okay, I set it to null before I try to drop it by setting its rigid body to. Uh, not kinematic anymore. So do that carried object null, of course, after you're trying to access it again. Okay, my bad. And now I guess it should work. Okay, it's always good to see errors in tutorials, I guess, to understand better what's going on and see how they resolved uh, life. Okay, and I can drop it. And this concludes our carrying, pick up and picking up and carrying objects around. Thank you. See you next time.